Right, that's it. I'm logging off Instagram for the night because I'm sick of seeing, oh, theme parks are opening on the 4th of July. Oh, guess what? I booked to go to Alton Towers on the 4th and the 11th of July. Oh, guess what? I booked to go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the 5th and the 12th of July. Oh, I booked to go to Fort Park on the 14th and 21st of July. Well, guess what, guys? I'm sick of this because as far as things are at the moment, I'm not going to be going to any theme parks anytime soon. I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> Just please, please subscribe to my channel. Please click the bell to enable notifications and so that you don't miss any future videos please just do this to cheer me up but it's okay guys because I'm doing a collab yes I'm doing a collab and that's the only thing that's keeping me going at the moment is the fact I am doing a collab and it's going to be great let's go <laughs> Welcome back to Frillnet and welcome to an announcement video where I'm going to be announcing uh, some of the main stuff I'm going to be doing on the channel sort of throughout summer and sort of towards the end of 2020 as well uh, up until the end of the season and I'm also wearing my Theme Park Worldwide t-shirt because why not go and support Theme Park Worldwide and subscribe to the Theme Park Worldwide YouTube channel they want your support and you know it's important, especially in these tough times, they've done really well, so go and subscribe to them. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got some announcements that are going to be coming up. Some different stuff to what you'd probably expect with the parks reopening, uh, but I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, we've got some big announcements coming, including, I'll announce now, a collab. And I'm going to be talking a bit more about that a bit later on as is the person who is going to be involved in this, uh, but more on that later. Um, the Owsley theme parks are reopening on the 4th of July. Uh, as I'm sure you probably guessed from the intro, I'm recording this after it, was been, it has been announced. Basically the theme parks are definitely reopening then. Uh, it's definitely happening guys, so I'm sure that all you guys are excited to get back to the parks on the 4th of July. Uh, obviously, um, safety is paramount, make sure you're following all the social distancing rules. Uh, I know that Boris has reduced the rule from 2 metres to 1 metre, uh, but please just socially distance where you can, because the closer you are to other people, the more risk that you have of obviously catching the virus, or, I mean, I wouldn't wish this on anyone, but obviously spreading it if you do have it, but you don't have any symptoms of it, because uh, that's not impossible. Um, some people can catch it without any symptoms. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, where I'm kind of going with this is basically there's not going to be any vlogs on the channel for the foreseeable future, even though parks are reopening. Because also, if you couldn't guess from the intro, I can't visit theme parks at the moment. Or, well, I technically can, but I've chosen not to and it's not advised for me to. Uh, iron clusters have been high risk from this virus, so... Uh, it wouldn't be safe really for me to visit parks at the moment. Um, that's not to say that I won't be visiting them later in the year and I may well do vlogs from parks uh, but I will be by myself, I won't be with anyone else um, probably, uh, more, most likely. Uh, I'd probably save meeting up with like maybe Josh or Danielle and that again and hopefully some others as well, uh, until uh, social distancing is over uh, and it's safe for me to do so. Uh, obviously, I don't know when I'm going to be back at parks. It sort of depends how this all pans out throughout the summer, really. Um, how the rate of infection changes, the number of infections, uh, etc. And, yeah, if I do go to parks, it'll probably literally be me and my parents. There won't be anyone else there. It won't be like uh, when we're with, like, say... Josh and Danielle were not with our parents and doing vlogs with them so it won't be those sort of vlogs it will probably be basically some off ride shots with me talking over them pretty much uh, I mean obviously I do prefer the vlogs where I'm with Josh and Danielle uh, I know they're more funny uh, the, and you'll have seen them I'm sure a lot of you have seen them uh, I know the, they are better vlogs and I will admit that because it's just 
when you're with other people you make better content and obviously I enjoy going to parks with those guys uh, but obviously with the current situation uh, safety is paramount and yeah um, women being visually impaired as well uh, social distancing is not going to be exactly easy with them if I'm just with them by myself so that's the main reason why I'm saving it till all this is over and then next year I'm sure you'll be seeing plenty of them in these videos. I know I might have gone off on a bit of a rant in my Q&A video about theme parks reopening and how I don't agree with it and I don't take any of that back I think it is too early for them to open uh, but on the flip side of that I mean I know a lot of enthusiasts you know theme parks are an escape for them especially with us being in lockdown at the moment you know they're not being able to visit them you know a lot of enthusiasts for their well-being theme parks are like an escape and I can relate to that um, you know when I'm at a theme park I'm not thinking about anything there's something about adrenaline is fascinating it literally adrenaline is like a release I don't even know what I'm saying but yeah you know a lot of enthusiasts have and I'm not even referring to those that have mental health problems or depression or whatever you, you know all enthusiasts you know, theme parks are where they go to escape from whatever's on their mind, whether it be the jobs or whatever, you know, you can look forward to theme parks at the end of the week and that's going to become a thing again. Obviously, uh, there's the booking in advance things now, but, you know, enthusiasts are going to be able to look forward to visiting a theme park again at the end of the week if they so wish. And I think it's great for enthusiasts that the reopening and obviously it's good for the economy as well. I know I ranted on about the risks uh, in my last video and as I said you know that that's still the case. I do think it's really risky opening them and I think if I'm honest the parks have put everything they can in place, they've done everything they can. You know hats off to the parks as I said last video uh, in my Q&A video you know but it's the how the public if they you know stick to these measures they understand them and what not you know that's going to determine how this all pans out so you know that's why I'm asking you guys to you know stick to the social distancing rules and I think enthusiasts will I know most of you watch are enthusiasts you know enthusiasts want parks to be open they're going to stick to them but I just hope the public do as well and I hope they understand that it's not over yet although it seems like everything's going back to normal and it kind of is as of the 4th of July apart from a few things and obviously social distancing being in place I just hope people remember because I, you know I bet people will forget and you know I just I just hope that this goes to plan really um, but yeah I've said my thoughts on what might happen last video you know I've said I hope there's not a second wave of this with the opening too early and that there may be a risk of that but yeah we can only hope for the best and you know if you are going to theme parks enjoy them and stay safe but anyway I've rambled on for a while now let me get on to the announcements of what I'm going to be doing so let's get into the announcements of what I'm going to be doing a lot of this is influenced by the polls I did on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago with what you guys wanted to see on the channel and I've took that into account which has kind of led to this video um, and then obviously uh, I've got this collab arranged which I'll be talking about later and all that's kind of led to this you know I've been planning this video for a while uh, but yeah so informative videos because uh, I ask you guys whether you prefer informative videos or gaming videos and it was pretty equal on the poll uh, there's literally one vote in it um, so I'm going to be doing equal of each so Obviously, you know, I upload at least once every other week, every week, sorry, and then every other week, I'll upload once twice, a week, I'll upload twice a week, so you'll get a week with one video, a week with two videos, and then another week with one video, another week with two videos, and so on pretty much at the moment, although that might change in the future, uh, if it does, I'll update you guys, but... Uh, yeah, so the informative videos, top 10s and reviews, you're going to get either a top 10 or a review uh, once every two weeks. And then the other the other week, uh, out of those two weeks, will be a gaming video. Uh, but yeah, so what I've got planned is you're going to get a top 10 once every two weeks. Uh, because a lot of people said they prefer top 10s to reviews. I mean, it was quite dominating with people saying that they prefer... 
uh, my top tens to my reviews and then every six weeks um, I know this is getting really complicated but I'm trying to explain as best I can that uh, you will get a ride review so say I don't know what for not done yet velocity at flamingo land review something like that those sorts of videos and then as I said on the other like four weeks or so, say two weeks um, you'll get a top ten like I don't know, top 10 rides in the world that I've ridden. Um, so pretty much you'll get you'll get a top 10 video, then a gaming video, then another top 10 video, then a gaming video, and then a review, a gaming video, and then it'll go back to start, and then that'll keep happening until I re run out of top 10s, because I realise I'll be doing more then, and then sort of reviews will start coming in. Uh, more, um, but that's how it's going to work pretty much. I know it's pretty complicated, but please don't worry if you don't quite understand this. I'm doing this best I can. I will uh, inform you guys always of what video is going to be coming on the channel um, a few days before it's due to go up, and then I'll also tell you when it's going to go up. So Saturday 6 p.m. or Wednesday 6 p.m. because it'll be either of those two times. Uh, so you'll always know what's coming up. So please don't worry if you are, if you don't quite understand that. Uh, and just kind of explaining it to give you a good idea of sort of what to expect, really. Uh, and yeah, and then on the Wednesdays uh, every two weeks, because I I'm going to be uploading on a Wednesday every two weeks. Uh, I'm going to upload the reacting to videos on that, those days because. After, because there's been very high demand for me to do more reacting to videos. A lot of you, I'm guessing, enjoyed the first one, and I'll put it up here in the top right now, uh, so you can go and see it if you haven't already. Uh, where I reacted to basically my first ever video on this channel, uh, where it was basically me kind of welcoming you guys to the channel, pretty much. And a lot of you guys clearly enjoyed that, uh, which is good to know. Uh, I thought you would, because it was quite a funny video, and. Hopefully the next one will be just as funny, if not better. Um, but yeah, and then when when I when I've run out of reacted to videos, because I don't plan for this to go on to forever. Uh, just kind of as many as I find theme park related. Really, I'm going to do sort of reacting to things on or videos. Sorry, um, I'm guessing these will go on for about five or six videos, and then uh, I plan to do an extra video because I realise that. And you'll see why later. This is kind of going to be coming to a bit of a standstill for now. Um, I'm going to uh, Minecraft Java uh, playing on like a server like MC Magic, uh, which is the series I've started. I'm going to be finishing that off. And then I have some other plans to do more theme park related servers, sort of play on them, you know, go around the parks, go on the rides uh, when those are done. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you can definitely expect more of those videos soon. However, I'm putting it on hold for now. Uh, but I definitely want to carry it on because it seemed to go down quite well the first Minecraft Java one where I was at Magic Kingdom on the MC Magic server so I definitely want to do more of them. Uh, but yeah, in terms of Planet Coaster because I know it's disappeared again for a while, don't worry I know uh, some of you guys who've watched the channel for a while will know that I've stopped Planet Coaster series in the past suddenly without warning you. Uh, that's not the case here. I've just been very busy with other things, uh, particularly, you know, other videos with this channel, really, and I'm just not having that much time at the moment to work on it, but, you know, I'm trying to do more on it now, I'm trying to get my act together and do more stuff on it, so when those videos are released, and they'll just be released when they're ready, because I don't want to rush them, I don't want the park to be rushed, I want it to be a good park, so, you know, when I'm ready, sort of with the next bit of the park I want to do for an episode, I'll then record the episode of me showing you it and then post it online. Um, you know, a lot of people are doing Planet Coaster anyway, so it's not something I've prioritised. I want this channel to be unique as possible, and I know a lot of channels like Theme Park Worldwide, and here's the t-shirt again, uh, still doing Planet Coaster. And, yeah, um, so I don't think it's I don't think it's the most popular thing I do on my on my channel. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or message me. But uh, yeah, and those videos will probably be released on Wednesdays if sort of the reacting to videos of I've, I've gotten like no reacting to videos or Minecraft Java videos to upload. Otherwise, they'll be online. You know, they'll be released on a Saturday. 
Uh, however, I do plan, and I'll tell you now, for this collab to be released every two weeks on Saturdays. So unless there's, that's done or whatever, and I don't want to wish that done because I'm going to enjoy this collab a lot. And I do have more sp stuff planned to do after it. Uh, but I don't know, for what, like, say, I don't know how much in the future or there's like a gap between two series in a collab or whatever because I'm not planned what I'm going to do after the first bit of this really. Uh, yeah, uh, there'll be a Planet Coast video on Saturday, but most likely uh, Planet Coasters will be on Wednesdays just so they don't disrupt the collab while that's going on or me releasing an informative video, but yeah. Some of you who have been watching the channel for a while will know I've also uploaded sort of on and off for IPOVs in the past from sort of parks I've been to on trips. Um, in terms of those, I don't really feel there's a need for them to be honest because, you know, they're in the vlogs anyway, but I think, you know, they'll be used as a last resort really. They're not particular pop particularly popular uh, uh, ever, so... You know, I don't think, really think there's a need for them, you know, they're just going to disrupt me doing other things. So, you know, as a last resort, say I've got no video planned, but I'm due to upload, then I'll upload one of them. But, I mean, I've got so much stuff planned to do over summer, I doubt that's ever going to be an issue. Well, anyways, the wait is now over. Let me talk a bit about this collab, uh, if this car goes away. Because, yeah decided to just go past my house as I'm about to say this. Yes, I have got a collab coming finally. As I said, it's going to be released on every other Saturday. Uh, but what I thought I'd do is I'd let the person who's going to be collabing with me introduce this. So, yeah, without further ado, take it away. Hi, my name's Kirsten, but you guys might know me as the owner of the Everything Thor Park account on Instagram or the owner of the Everything Theme Park podcast. And basically, I'm here doing a little segment in Ben's video today just to announce that we're doing a collab. And this collab is going to be in the form of a YouTube series on his YouTube account. And basically, it's going to be along the lines of a quest to build a roller coaster in hardcore Minecraft survival. <laughs> So it's going to be a great series. I feel like we'll be playing it for ages. We have loads of stuff planned and it's going to be funny and it's just going to be great. You guys are not going to want to miss it. And I can't wait to start filming it in for, them, for the episodes to start posting so you guys can see them. And yeah, so that's my, that's our kind of little announcement. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, that's right, me and Kirsten from Everything Fort Park are going to be doing a Minecraft survival series and it's going to be a quest to build a roller coaster in Minecraft survival. I mean, yeah, I am really pushing the boundaries with this one. Uh, it's a video idea I've actually had for a while, or sorry, series idea I've actually had for a while. Um, and I sort of started thinking about this, you know, late May and I thought, you know, this was originally going to be a solo series where I'd be doing this by myself. However, I am pretty awful at Minecraft, so I was always thinking, how am I actually going to get this done without me dying every two seconds and losing everything and basically having to start from scratch again. And as I announced, sort of, in my last sort of Q&A video, you know, me and Kirsten have been chatting uh, quite a bit lately. I've uh, been getting to know her these past few weeks. And it turns out she quite likes Minecraft. So I thought, you know what? Uh, she could come on the series. And she actually uh, said to me, uh, she'd been having an idea of someone, you know, this sort of style of series, building a coaster in survival or a mini amusement park. We might do a mini amusement park, depending how long the coaster takes to build and how painful the process it is. Uh, you know, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we'll maybe try a mini amusement park, unless it proves really hard to do the coaster. Uh, I've never built a coaster in survival personally, so I don't know how hard it is, but uh, there's going to be a lot of mining involved, and I'm sure those of you who played Minecraft will know. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, so, yes, and then sort of she said to me, I've always thought, why doesn't someone do this? So I was like, you know what, you can come on the series and we'll do the series together. So, yeah, uh, we're going to be doing this together. You'll be able to hear him in videos as well. Um, we'll be doing Minecraft multiplayer for this. And it's going to be entertaining, I'm sure it is. 
probably going to be the most entertaining thing you've ever seen on this channel. I, I literally can't wait for this. I don't believe any other enthusiast I know of has done anything like this. You know, and it's pushing the boundaries, you know, it's practically a gaming series pretty much. Uh, but obviously it's got that element of theme parks in there, which is why I thought it would be appropriate for this channel. And for anyone who did watch my old channel Game It Right, which did start off with Minecraft videos, um, you know, some of that, you're going to get some of that nostalgia back with me doing uh, this series. Um, but hopefully I do a better job of it than I did in those videos, because those videos were pretty dreadful. And I might do reacting to videos on one or two in the future because there was one the odd sort of theme park related video when I sort of made those videos um, back in the day. Uh, but yeah, uh, the first episode of this is going to be up on Saturday the 11th of July. That's when I plan to get it up. We've not started recording it yet, uh, but we will record it soon. Um, so yeah, Saturday the 11th of July, I'm going to start posting sort of teasers on Instagram soon and hopefully Kirsten is a lot better than Minecraft than me. She says she's a lot better than me so we'll soon find out when we start filming the series because I hope she is because yeah, otherwise we could be having fun. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an entertaining series anyway and you know, we we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about a lot of stuff as well because you know you guys can get to know a bit more though you probably know or more likely to know her than me because her Instagram account is bigger than mine for a start um, I should also say she does the Everything Fort Park podcast which you can see on Spotify well well hello again yes it's me I'm that girl who interrupted Ben's ranking my wooden coasters from worst to best and thrill neck Q&A June 2020 videos and I'm here for a good reason I will put cards for these videos in the top right of your screen now, so you can easily find and watch these if you wish and find out exactly why I chose to interrupt these videos. Maybe one day I'll reveal my backstory but for now, let me focus on why I have chosen to interrupt Ben's video on this occasion. Well, would you believe it, Ben has made yet another mistake. Kirsten's podcast is not known as the Everything Thought Park podcast, it is in fact known as the Everything Theme Park podcast. Seriously, how could Ben make such a mistake when the podcast clearly doesn't focus solely on Thought Park and is clearly titled The Everything Theme Park Podcast on Spotify, the platform on which it is hosted? Not to mention, he made the exact same mistake in his Thrill Neck Q&A June 2020 video but I thought that on that occasion, I'd give him a chance and see if this mistake was a one-off. She also does The Everything Thought Park Podcast which is a really good podcast you can go and check out. But it clearly wasn't, I've said it before and I'll say it again, if Ben's hope is finding a future someone, then he will need to stop making so many mistakes in his videos. It's no wonder he can't flirt with girls when he gets their podcast names wrong. Anyway Ben, I think there's something you should say to Kirsten, so go ahead. <sighs> Kirsten, I'm sorry. I know, I know I would, it wasn't good was it? I'll I know for the future, it's called the Everything Theme Park Podcast, and yeah, I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, definitely go and check that out. You know, I'll put a link to her Instagram and that in the, dis in the description, and she also does enthusiast Zoom calls, where you can basically join and talk to a load of enthusiasts, pretty much. Uh, they happen every so often, there's been a couple happen now, um, and... Yeah, it's going to be a really good series, you know, we'll talk about stuff, probably theme park related stuff, you know, we'll talk everything Fort Park. Wow, that was a bad pun. Um, yeah, Fort Park is not really something I've talked about on my channel, to be honest, but I'm sure it's something that we'll talk about, you know, you know, as my, sort the park sort of close to my heart's Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the park close to her, her heart's everything, oh, not everything Fort Park, Fort Park, the park's not called everything Fort Park, that's her account, uh, but it's, yeah, um, yeah, we'll talk plenty about Fort Park, it's a park I do really want to go to in the future actually, my most anticipated park in the UK, but not one I've really talked about on the channel because there's not a lot I can say about it, I've never really been, and I'm, it's not a park I've produced content on, 
Uh, apart from, I have talked a bit about Solar Ride and how much I want to ride that because of me having road speed at Oakwood, which is uh, basically a Gerslar Eurofighter like that ride is, and I absolutely love speed, so I'm sure I'll love Soar as well. Uh, I've heard some good things about it, so I hope it lives up to its hype. I'm sure it will. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be really exciting to do this. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be something very different on the channel, uh, but it's going to be really funny, I'm sure. Really entertaining for you guys to watch, and I can't wait to get started on it. Anyways, that's all the announcements I have for this video. Um, and that's pretty much everything that's going to be happening on the channel at the moment. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit going to be going on. I know there's no vlogs from theme parks, uh, which is going to disappoint you guys, I'm sure. But, you know, the other channels will cover that. And, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm sure you'll be seeing plenty of vlogs coming online soon. You know, enthusiast booking slots at these parks like mad. Uh, but, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, enable notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.